hello everyone hope you're right in today's video i'm going to plant my seed potatoes in this raised bed and i'm going to plant a couple of fruit trees which i have recently ordered in my garden so i thought you might want to see what i'm doing here so in this fabric raised bed i have got spinach and swiss chard which i planted in the fall and it is growing nicely and in this other raised bed i have got beetroot and swiss chard so these are cool weather crops which i started in fall in october november and they have been growing since then in my greenhouse and this is a look around in my greenhouse i am overwintering my strawberry plants and this is my calamondon orange tree it has got some fruit and there is my uh, kumquat tree and some perennial plants which i started from seed they are overwintering and i have started lot more plants from seeds recently if you haven't seen my videos i will include a link in the description box so you know which seeds i have already started and here are some more perennial flowering plants so these are my seed potatoes which is basically a mix of different potatoes which i grew last year and the small ones i kept them in my fridge and some of them have chitted already and they are growing you can see the roots and stems and some haven't chitted yet but it's okay to plant the potatoes whether they are chitted or not if you want to chit your potatoes you normally do it from mid-february in a dark cool place and mine are ready to plant uh, i'm going to plant them in fabric raised bed which is inside my greenhouse if you want to plant them outside in the garden it's best to wait a little more until your last frost state has passed because i'm planting in my greenhouse i don't need to worry about it and we live in a mild climate anyway so here i'm going to plant my seed potatoes in between these swiss chard and spinach plants and planting potato is really really easy you need to dig a hole which is four to six inches deep amend it with a fertilizer like rich in phosphorus which is good for tuber and bulb growth and then plant your seed potato in the hole birds facing upward and then cover them with soil and compost and that's all basically you need to wait until you see the green shoots emerging from the soil then you can start watering them and uh, there are different varieties of uh, potatoes in the market some take like 10 to 12 weeks these are called earlies first earlies and some take like 12 to 16 weeks these are called second earlies and some takes like 16 to 20 weeks to maturity and these are the main crop potatoes so first earlies and second earlies are really easy to grow and main crop is for basically storage so i'm going to plant all my potatoes here in this way here is my delivery of fruit trees and climbing rose which i have recently ordered and i'm going to do unboxing in front of you so i have opened the box it is packaged nicely and there are two fruit trees apricot and nectarine which i couldn't find in any of my local garden centers so i had to order them online it is from j parkers and they have them for a really good price and the trees are looking good they are nice and tall like two meters already and there are lots of branches as well i can see the birds overall it looks satisfactory and they have been packaged really well so i think it is quite good and the bark is looking nice and maybe i can get fruit this year as well but normally when you plant fruit trees you can expect them to take a couple of years before fruiting for you and this is the other fruit tree the bare root punas persica this is nectarine and it's looking good the tree is in nice shape there are some birds and let's see what happens so i'm going to plant these fruit trees in containers which are big containers these are like um, dwarf fruit trees so they won't grow a lot so maximum growing height and spread is 2.5 meters so these can be planted in containers and these are self fertile so they can produce the fruit without having another fruit tree nearby so here is my rose climbing rose saffron which i really like but i couldn't find it in local garden centers so i had to order it online so basically that's an advantage um, if you buy plants online you can get a good variety of plants online and uh, the prices are good in local garden centers you don't get much variety and it could be a bit expensive and there is uh, nothing else apart from this free gift which is like seven dahlia tubers which is cactus mix 
this was a promotional offer so if you spend more than 50 pounds you get this uh, seven daily tubers and i'm going to just check on them how they are looking and i'm not going to plant them yet so i will store them inside my house and i will plant them in april my uh, when the weather is warm enough for them to grow um looking good there is some like um, tangly and tubers which are a bit broken um not very satisfactory if i had paid for them but it's a promotional offer so i will give them a go anyway so there are seven tubers which are cactus mix they are not labeled individually uh, to be honest i'm not really happy with the quality of tubers and with the fact that they haven't been labeled uh, separately i would have been much more happy if they were labeled and looked good but let's see what happens so keep watching for further updates here is my container this is a big container 55 centimeter diameter from the top and i have filled it with half a with soil and half a multipurpose compost and i'm going to plant my fruit tree in this container so first i'm going to amend the soil with fertilizer which is uh, fish blood and bone it is rich in phosphorus which is good for the root growth ideally you should soak the bare root plants and trees in water for like uh, two to four hours for them to revive but honestly i don't have any time uh, i do want to finish these jobs today because these days i'm running quite busy so i just want to plant them we get lots of rain anyway the compost is nice and moist already so i'm going to work my fertilizer in the compost and i'm going to dig a big hole to accommodate all the root ball so it's covered in the compost and soil as i said these are self-fertile wafu trees they can be grown in containers if you are short on space like me i really want to grow um apricot and nectarine fruit trees but i don't have any room in my garden so However, if you have space in your garden, it's good to plant them in the ground. They will benefit from it. And here I found a gladiolus tuber, which I had growing them in this container last year. And I dug all of them, I thought, but there's still one left. So I'm going to dig a hole as big as the root ball and then I'll plant my tree and water it afterwards. So here i have finished planting this fruit tree and i have noticed this scar on the stem which is not looking good i'm not happy with it so i will um talk with the customer service to see what they can do for me um this kind of wounds on the tree bark is not good um, i may have to do some healing job here if you can share your ideas with me how can i heal this wound please let me know in comments otherwise the tree is looking good and this is my backyard which is quite sunny so let's see what happens now i'm going to plant the other fruit tree in this other big container which i have got in my backyard it's the same size container filled with compost and soil and i had a grapevine growing in it which i bought a couple of years ago but it didn't grow much for me so i think it won't do anything so i'm going to use this container to plant my nectarine tree and same way i'm going to dig a big hole um, to accommodate the root ball amend it with the fertilizer plant the tree and water it afterwards
I'm also topping the surface with a bucket full of fresh compost which is rich in nutrients so it's a good idea to amend the soil and containers with fresh compost in the spring if you have something growing in them already so it will help the um, plants to perform even better this tree doesn't look like grafted to me and the stem has been pruned very near to the root ball so i'm trying not to cover it with the compost or soil uh, it looks uh, healed up but let's see uh, overall i'm not really happy with these two trees but i couldn't find them locally and uh, let's see what happens how they grow for us and i really wanted to plant uh, apricot and nectarines for a long time and i couldn't find them anywhere near so the price is not very high so if they grow i will be much more happy and if they suffer then i can talk to the customer service about it they have a price twenty on their website so let's see what happens now i'm going to plant my climbing rose zephyrin near this garden arch and i want to train the rose plant above this arch so it covers it nice and well So I'm done planting my rose plant and it's looking quite good. It has three branches which are nice and healthy and a couple of parts on each branch. So I will train it up this trellis and I want to cover it with the roses. Zephyrins are really beautiful. Pink roses, really fragrant and this is quite sunny here. So I hope they flourish for me. Lastly, I'm going to plant this apple tree which I started from seed a couple of years ago. And if you haven't checked that video, I will include the link in the description box when I started it from seeds and how I reported it. And now it is nice and big. I think it's ready to go in the ground. I could keep it in the pot another year, but I want to plant it in the ground so it can grow to its full potential. Because I started this apple tree from seed, I don't know which right it is. It could be anything like a crab apple but i want a tree here in the backyard near the back fence for some height and structure and my compost bin is nearby here so i have cleaned up the area and i'm going to dig a big hole to plant this tree So I'm done planting and it's looking good and I will leave the area as it is and then I'll come later and pick this gravel and add more compost here in the area and I may plant some flopping plants for this season around this tree and it's looking good. Here is a little update on my pepper plants and eggplants and tomato plants which I started from seed recently. Uh, peppers and eggplants are growing well. Some of the pepper plants are late to germinate but they are looking okay and i'm quite happy with their growth here are my tomato plants which i started from seed last week and they are doing really well they have germinated already and here are my sweet potato plants which i started myself from grocery store sweet potato and this is the pepper plant which i overwintered in my house and i will share in detail soon that how I overwintered the pepper plants inside my house. So overall, I'm quite happy with all these plants. And here I have put them under my grow light, which was a gift from Coco Lila LED grow lights. And I'm quite happy with its performance. It's doing really well. And I can see my plants are really responding to the light it's getting. And I'm quite happy. And this is not very expensive light. It's for like 60 pounds, I guess, on Amazon. So I will include the link in the description box in case you want to check it out and please subscribe to my channel for further updates. Thank you very much for watching today. See you next time. Bye.